just as with other previous versions of Microsoft Windows, you have the ability here in Windows 8 to totally customize and personalize what you see. And we're going to begin with our start screen and the tiles that appear here by default. So yours may not look exactly like mine. I have the default background. The tiles that I see here are my default tiles, the default location, the default size. Notice some of them are large, some of them are a little bit smaller. Well, these are settings that can be changed. First of all, let's say we want to rearrange our tiles so the ones we use most often are over here on the left-hand side. Mail and desktop, definitely, I'm going to use those very often, but there are others here that I might use more often than messaging and people. For example, news. I'm going to click and drag news over here to the left, and you can see what happens. Now I have news, people, and messaging here. Well, the desktop, it needs to be down there. So I'm going to move it down. And aside from people, maybe there's something else I would rather see on the left-hand side, like my calendar. Drag it over here, and everything gets rearranged. So far, so good. Now, some of these don't need to be large tiles. They take up too much room, and there might be other apps I'd like to add to this list of tiles. So I'm going to right-click people. When you right-click a tile, you get the app bar, and you'll see some options. For example, you can make it smaller. By clicking smaller on a large tile, you can see it takes up less space. I'm going to do the same for messaging. Right click, make that one smaller, and you can see how it rearranges everything, giving me a little extra space or real estate on my desktop where I could add some new tiles. Where would I go to get those? Well, all you have to do is right click anywhere in the background, and the app bar opens up with the All Apps option in the bottom right hand corner. We'll click that, where we see all of the apps that are available to us in this new UI including some Windows accessories like Paint, for example, one I use often. So I'm going to right-click Paint, and you'll notice from the app bar here, one of them is to pin it to the Start screen. I can pin it down here on the taskbar so it's accessible from here, but Pin to Start means it will be a tile that appears now on my Start screen. So when we hit the Windows key on the keyboard, the shortcut to get back to our desktop here, or Windows Start screen, notice we have a new tile called Paint. We can move that into a more accessible location by clicking and dragging it as well. If there are some that you never use, maybe I don't play games, you can right-click a tile and unpin it. You can even uninstall programs or apps from here, but we don't want to do that. We might need it down the road. We just don't need it on the Start screen right now. So clicking Unpin from Start removes it, again creating some extra space. Now, as an administrator, you might use administrator tools on a regular basis, and you want to add those to your start screen. Well, that's actually a setting that we can change, and to access our settings, we can go to the bottom right-hand corner or top right-hand corner. When the charms appear, the very last one is your settings charm. Now, there is a keyboard shortcut, Windows, and the letter I to access settings that we see here. So you'll see something, for example, at the top for tiles. Click Tiles. And notice that by default, admin tools are not being shown here. If you use them and you do want them to show, just click the slider and it moves to the Yes position. Now all we have to do is click here in the background to close up our settings, wait a moment, and the admin tools show up over here on the right-hand side. So if we go down to the bottom and use the scroll bar that now appears, we can see all of those admin tools. And just like the other tiles, we can move them around, position them into locations where we want to be able to access them. If you find you don't use them, you can turn them off the same way. Let's use our keyboard shortcut this time, Windows and the letter I together. Brings up our settings. We'll go back to Tiles, and we'll turn them back off. Now when we click over here, it takes a second, and they disappear. Let's go back to those settings, though, for a minute, because there are some personalization settings we can change from there as well. Windows key plus the letter I brings it back up this time. We're going to go over here to the right-hand side and down to the bottom to our Change PC Settings. Click there, and it opens up the actual Settings app. Now, Personalize is selected at the top on the left-hand side, and we do have three different categories, the Lock Screen, Start Screen, and Account Picture. The Lock Screen is what we see when we log out, or perhaps when you first turn on your computer and you're prompted for a password. So what do you want showing up in the background? You can choose your image. If you have your own image, you can use the Browse button to find that. And also, as we scroll down, you'll notice there are certain apps that will continue to run when the screen is locked. So messaging, mail, and calendar. 
but click the plus sign if there's something you might want to add to that list. When we go up to our start screen, we can change some of the personal settings there as well. You're going to see the current selection in a preview here, and you can see it's kind of a green on green, and you can see the design is selected from below. So we can choose any design we like, but we can also change the color scheme. So over here on the left, we have some colors with the gray background. Maybe blue would be cool with the gray background. We also have multicolor options as we move over, for example, orange on orange. When we select that, you can see what that's going to look like. So click these little icons to see what different options you have until you find one that you like. I'm going to go back to the default, which is this greenish color on green. And that's my start screen. Also, there's an account picture that can be displayed if you choose to browse for an existing picture or actually take a picture. If your computer has a built-in camera or a camera connected, maybe it's a tablet, click the camera icon to take a current picture and it will become your account picture. When we're done, we can just hit our Windows key to flip back to our start screen. And that's a quick look at some of the things you can do with the personalization settings. Now something else that might be happening for you that's not happening for me is called Live Tile. You might be seeing current weather for your location. You might be seeing finance updates or maybe news items. That's called Live Tile and I've turned them all off. To turn them on or off, all you have to do is right click the tile. I'm going to go to my calendar and turn Live Tile on or off. You'll notice it's a toggle so it can be turned on or off. If you wanted to, try it with one of the feeds like news or sports, and you'll see updates along the way. Of course, this does use up some of your computer resources, so be choosy about what live tiles are turned on and which ones are turned off.